We see the hill for the first time, at the apex of a dead straight, tree-lined footpath, its perfect symmetry framed by a sky now wiped clean of cloud. Stave Hill is a 30 feet high grass mound in the shape of a truncated cone or frustrum. Its form is suggestive of the command module of a space rocket that, having re-entered the Earth's atmosphere, has crash-landed unnoticed in London SE-16. To climb this hill is to participate in a ritual ascension. The approach seems designed to echo the geometric avenues of Avebury, a sloping path marked at regular intervals by large rectangular structures swamped in ivy, ruined municipal megaliths that loom above the joggers and the dog walkers. The hill itself is a kind of miniature of the prehistoric chalk mound at Silbury, Wiltshire. The grass is luminous, as if it has been doused in -in glow-in-the-dark green paint. I almost expect Bilbo Baggins, or the Teletubbies, to emerge from a trapdoor in its flank. Stave Hill's skin may be turfy, but its innards are all rubble and waste. The hill is a glorified slag heap, constructed in 1985 using the spoil from the dismantling of Stave and Russia docks. Stave Hill is a memorial to the disappeared world. It is also quite literally made of it. Perhaps then it is more like a cairn, a gathering of local materials into a way marker or ritual node. Nothing new, nothing alien, nothing that cannot be collected from the immediate environment and redeployed. Stave Hill is as good a symbol of London than any, an entire city built on the accumulated rubble of its past. The summit of the hill is flat, concrete and wind blown. The views over the city are staggering. I survey the skyscrapers of the square mile, the shards stabbing knife-like into the sky, the turrets of Tower Bridge and the London Eye, like children's toys, absurdly miniature. Canary Wharf rises up in front of us so close you feel you could reach right in. I look back across South Bermondsey and Peckham, past the ridge of hills where I grew up, to where the television transmitter stands on the ruins of the Crystal Palace. The only feature we cannot see is the Thames herself, obscured by all the buildings hustling in on her banks. Beneath the skin of this place lies a forgotten history of labour, of stevedores and deal porters testing their strength and skill against steel and timber. In Stave Hill, the ruins of their yards are refashioned as a recreational treadmill, the same territories reworked by the 21st century leisure seeker in engineered sportswear, tracking his progress via a fitness app on his smartphone. The body he proposes may have topography too. Who knows the day when the tide will break in to take back the flatlands. You will find me high up and close to the sky.